Since the January 2015 agreement, China has transferred three Z-10 Thunderbolt attack helicopters to Pakistan, which has become China's staunchest ally and largest weapons buyer. These three Z-10 helicopters are currently at a Pakistani army base in Qasim, Damijul, undergoing testing, maintenance training and modifications for operating in the Khyber Mountains. The Z-10 is built by the Changhe Aircraft Industries Corporation, with design input from Russia Kamuv Design Bureau. It first flew in 2003, and the plan the plan currently flies around 80 to 100 helicopters. The 7-8-ton Z-10 is similar to other attack helicopters like the A-64 Apache, Mi-28 Havoc and August Westland Mangusta. With its heavy armament of a 23mm cannon and over a ton of guided weapons including HJ-10 anti-tank missiles, 57mm rockets and TIE-90 air-to-air missiles. The Z-10 is China's front-line attack helicopter, replacing the Cold War era Z-9. The Z-10 will supplement Pakistan's arsenal of 51 aging American-built A-1 Cobra attack helicopters in particular. The Z-10's greater size allows it to carry more powerful thermal imaging and night vision equipment than the AH-1F, as well as fire-and-forget missiles like the HJ-10. The A-1S tow missile requires that the helicopter maintain line of sight with the target, which leaves it vulnerable to anti-air fire. The Z-10 also has a laser target designator, which could allow it to provide guidance support for missiles fired by the Burak armed drones. Future upgrades for the Z-10 could include a millimeter wave radar, similar to the American Longbow system, more powerful WZ-16 turboshaft engines to increase speed and armor improved infrared and electronic countermeasures and the ability to network with unmanned systems such as drones. If Pakistan finds the Z-10 to be capable platforms, it would likely replace the Cobra as Pakistan's next attack helicopter and a successful trail by combat would make the Z-10 very attractive to other foreign buyers. Just another sign that China is making waves in the international arms market, selling increasingly sophisticated systems such as warships, air defense and anti-ship missiles.